you can't stay in there and take them. Well, we'll see what happens. Right? Well, I just told you what's happening. You can't do it. It sounds like maybe... You need to take a picture of me. Special meeting set for today, Monday, August 22nd, 2022, at 3 p.m. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. by saying aye, please, by roll call vote. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Carl? Yes. Bev? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. All right, I think at this time I'm going to turn this meeting over to one of you guys as moderator. Um, Sherry, you put most of this together. Did you want to take that job or you want to give it to... All right. Uh, I, I called this meeting um, because of the letters that were written by the office, the office staff regarding the uh, receipt that was uh, shown. Okay, what we have to do first is, is open for a, a closed oh. session, please. Okay. Open for its discussion then. Uh, the receipt which indicated that $650 had been received and paid by Mr. Young, which turned out not to be true. So the question came up is, is that fraud, uh, is that a fraud or fraudulent action? And if so, what is, what, what's the repercussions of that happening again? And how do we keep that from happening again? You know, we would, I'd like to know why it was done, I guess. Is this where we open up for a closed session, Carl, or is it after? Are we going to go into a closed session? So, uh, my understanding is that it was going to be a closed session to start with. Mm -hmm. We were just. Well, you have to bring that up to your end meeting. Okay. We we're going to have a closed session. That, uh, Can I make a motion for a closed session to discuss this matter? Or does he have to know? Not anybody can do it. All right, I make a motion to partial yeah. session to, to uh, discuss this. I'll second. Call for a call. Call for a call, my name. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Beth? Yes. Carl? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Mm. This is where we say goodbye, everybody. We, we come back in, though, right? After the closed session, you take a vote. Yeah. We, yeah. Okay. If there's, you know, if there's anything to discuss after, we can we can open it up again, I guess. Yeah. Well, you have to take the vote in the open session, so you can go into closed session to discuss it, but you still have to come back in and take a vote on whether you consider it fraud or not. Yeah. In public, in front of all of us, yeah. roll call. All right. That's my understanding. Clerk would know. Yes, that is true. Okay. Cool beans. Okay. okay, we're uh, we 
close the we're, we, we've ended the closed um, meeting and we're going to continue with the regular board meeting now. Uh, what we've decided is we've got to get a little more documentation together uh, on this issue. So I'm going to prepare a a document, a, a package basically that discusses this whole thing. We're going to bring it together in another special board meeting uh, to discuss it. Um, We've also, I entertained the thought of a, a, another, another township resolution that hopefully, uh, after everybody reviews it, will get passed. And um, we're going to have the meeting I wrote it down, on the 9th of September at 5 o'clock. Yes. At 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Oh, the 9th, yeah, on the 7th, rather than 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. On the 7th. Wednesday, September 7th. September 7th. And at that time, I'll hopefully have the documentation that we need. It'll all be ready uh, to be reviewed and voted on, and hopefully we'll put this thing to bed. Are we you elaborate what can I do? I mean, what was this meeting for? There was, there was a receipt that was marked paid, and uh, it apparently wasn't. Question was why was it marked paid? And there's a story behind it, and we want to put that document together that explains the whole thing mm -hmm. so that there's no question as to what's going on. Everybody will know what was going on. Don't you have that already? We we didn't have part of the whole package. We had bits and pieces of it. We don't have the whole thing put together in one document. Uh, who made the complaint? Uh, that was a, a joint um, memorandum or letter from the people that worked in the township hall. Did they provide you with documents at that time? They provided it, but I still don't have everybody's side of the issue. What, whose side are you waiting Well, I, I had to talk to Mary Agnes about this and get her, her, her side of what, was, what this was all about. She's, we've had our closed meeting, we've discussed it, we have an understanding of what was going on, and now we need to put that into a catch-all document, if you will, that'll put the whole put the whole thing out there, everybody will know what's going on, and there'll just hopefully be no questions. Why are you having a special meeting instead of having it at the regular board meeting? Because we didn't have the whole story. That's what we're, that's 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 why we're having this meeting to get all the all the whole story, get it put in. You can have a closed session at a regular board meeting, and it's televised. And we wanted to have this before we go to the regular board meeting. No, that's now it, you're, you're going backwards. It can't be televised if it's a closed board meeting. Yes, anyhow. it can. No, you can it request can. No, it, it can be televised until you have the closed session. Yeah. So what's the, what's the difference we have a Because meeting. more people, it's documented, more people can view it. We all have to, you know, at the well, last minute make changes. Not that I care, but other people can't view it. It's not about, you can, the idea for a special meeting is if it's something that cannot be done at a regular board meeting. Which is an employee, and I'm an employee. But you are going in a closed session, you're not here with any lawyers. You're not being, there is, you want all the lawyers. This is just my take on it. There was no money taken. No money was, came in. No money went out. There was no money exchanged, period. It's just we have to get all the all this stuff. There was a receipt made, mm -hmm. but and that's as far as I can go with it until we review the rest of this. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm speaking out of tune. But so the if, we, if we don't have a special meeting, I don't think, uh, you know, we, we need to get past this and at the regular meeting we want to vote on what Carl's putting together here. Mm -hmm. So So you're going to wait till September 9th? And what is today? 7th. September 7th. When's the next board meeting? September 7th. Regular board meeting? 15, 14, 14. So what, what instead I, of violating the Open Meetings Act by having a special meeting when you shouldn't, you can't wait one more week. I want to get the document together. That I doesn't want, matter. Look at I, your open meeting there. I want to get it together. I want everybody to agree with what I put in there before we come out and give it to you. Because I don't want to make a misstatement. Mm. Then you get it 
and you're off running, you know, starting all these little fires. I want to make sure the document is accurate. Okay. And then I want to bring that to the board. So are we going to see documentation at, at the next special meeting, or is that going to be still be part at, of the closed session? It will be at the board meeting. You'll see the final document. And, and that will be the open meeting, and you'll see the document. But until I get the document written and I know it's correct, and there's no misstatements in it, it doesn't need to be passed around for people to start. Can I ask you something else? When did you get the notice that there was a problem? I got that, well, I was out of town for three weeks. I got it probably a week or two after uh, it happened. And when and did then, it actually, uh, was, when did it come to your attention exactly? Okay, I got into town Sunday. Sunday what? The Sunday of, when was that? Um, what date? Was it before the regular it board meeting? It was the Sunday before the election day. Okay, so. Because Monday afternoon, I got my mail. I got a box of mail from the post office that had been held up by the time I went to it. It was 7 o'clock at night. There's nobody here at that time. Tuesday's election day. Wednesday of that week was the first time I had a chance to talk to anybody about it. So it was the Wednesday after election day is when I first started to look into this. So this was August 2nd? Was that week then? Is that when the election was, Sherry? I can't yes, it was. So somebody charges somebody with something like that, a board member, and you wait until August 22nd to call a special meeting to look into it with the no, rest of the board? No, because what I did is, right when I got it, I came in here and I started talking to people. <clears throat> I talked to everybody one by one. I didn't bring them into a group and try to get some. Okay, history. what I what I'm saying, Carl, is <clears throat> I'm assuming there was an accusation of fraud. That's all I can assume because we haven't seen the document. You're saying there was a receipt. The rest of the board members obviously received notice as well. Am I correct? Well, all the board members Tom, received. Tom and I got something sent to us in the mail. Right, and then the rest of the board members already knew about the incident. Well, they had written written the the, the, the okay. report. Okay. Why wasn't a special meeting called right away? Because I was trying to get the, the, all the air, I was Why didn't the board. rest of the board members have a special meeting right away? I'm not talking about you just specifically, Carl. I appreciate that, but. When somebody within elected officials charged with something possibly that could be fraud, why weren't the state police called and why wasn't there a, a, a special meeting if you couldn't wait until a board regular board meeting? Why would you take the chance that another incident would occur or documents would disappear? This is what I'm asking. Why why didn't the rest of the board members do anything? Can I ask a question? Good. Was this a charge or was this something brought to attention that uh, was questionable because maybe there was an error and wanted to get more information? Was it an actual charge? I think no, there was, there was I'm no, asking a question. There was, there was no charge. It was just okay. something that came out and there was a concern. That needs to be investigated by the board before the follow through with the charge. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, being that, that we don't have the documents, scuttlebutt is that it was actual fraud. So. If that were the case and the board was made aware, there is no proven guilty though. Well, that, I that, agree, that, but if the employees that was the whole thing is I went okay. through and I went through and I went and got a document which identifies by law what fraud is. Yeah, I have that too. Then signatures. We, we had to discuss whether it was actually right. fraud or not, you know, and all this. Now we're not lawyers to start with, so it's kind of our interpretation of what's there. Isn't based that, on the exact words okay isn't that though something that you should call if there is any suspicion of fraud by any elected official you call state police right away isn't no. that what they advise no, the board there's, members there's, to do there's no no one's ever advised me of any of this well I don't, i'm not i'm not a career politician by any means was it fraud I'm or not. error that you're checking was it a fr fraud or an error you were checking we were looking at fraud uh, because if it was fraud, yeah, we have a serious problem. But that's no, you don't want to have someone arrested or anything and find out it was it was a mistake. Well, they you wouldn't know, be arrested. They, we were we were we were going on a caution. We were cautioning ourselves. We didn't want to get this 
be blown out of the water if it was nothing. <laughs> no, you're that's, you're that's going backwards. But we, you wanted to get whatever. the whole story, get it all straightened out, get it in writing, and then everybody can see it. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to hide it. This mm -hmm. board, uh, I'm speaking for myself again, but I think we're trying to be more of a common sense than attorneys and in uh, who Joe Biden's <laughs> brother with or what his kids doing. You know, we don't have a team of attorneys working here. We do it with common sense. We're not looking at six hundred thousand dollars. We're not looking at six million dollars. We're looking at you're looking at a a small whatever amount. amount it is. But if it's done intentionally, it's still fraud. Yeah. Whether it be a dollar, it's done, or what? It's it's done intentionally it's to it's take the money. Intention. Well, that's that's for us to to hash out and decide. Okay. If, if you look at the definition of fraud, fraud is when you do something to get monetary gain for your either money, property, and that is what fraud is. That did not happen here. I, I would think it's uh, uh, defined more generally as an intent to deceive. Yes. Whether it be money, signatures, it's, it's, it's the tendency <coughs> to gain monetary uh, gain. gain or Not necessarily gain or monetary. It, it was, there was Again, no you're you're not the state police, so right. I so. agree, but that was the whole thing. Do we call the state police in, and it turns out to be nothing? Why not? You know, that would, that be, would be the best thing. Yes, yes. yes exactly. Why yes. not? Because you guys are not law enforcement. You're not attorneys. You're explaining to me that you don't understand the law. Well, we that you have a piece of paper as a sensible law. Sure it is. is. We did call the police in. Yes, it was right to call them. You're doing it backwards. That's backwards. Back you are trying to hide shit. This is, can I say something that's correct? Yeah, we wouldn't have had this meeting. We wouldn't be preparing a document. You did have a meeting and you closed the damn door. You sent us all packing. You guys all sit here and whisper back and forth playing games. Hold, hold on. Can I, I want to make a point. Seriously. Hold on. You said monetary gain. Well, it might not have been monetary gain for the township, but the person on the other end is getting the monetary gain. There was no money exchange. Because we got caught. Money, right. goods, services. We didn't have to pay the money. That's the benefit. And how many times has this happened? It hasn't it's got caught. Longer. We don't know about it. Oh. It has yeah. to go through the treasurer's office. And there's a receipt for okay. money, and the money's not there. It gets caught. OK. Fair enough. Now, one more question. This next meeting, is this going to be your final uh, documentation that you're going to put out there for us to see. You're not going to kick this can down the road again. Oh, no, no. We're going to have a meeting. Like That's said, my I'm concern. Gonna, you guys are just going to keep kicking it down the road. I'm putting together the whole story. Then we're going to review it to make sure I got everything right. I did. So the next meeting, you could kick it down the road again. No, but then yeah, we're going to put together a story that they like and works for them. And then we're going to explain mm -hmm. the whole story. Okay. And then at the regular, the normal board meeting, that document will be presented. It's not going to be hit. We're not kicking it down the road. We just want to. You've already sure. been kicking it down the road. What are you talking about? This could have been taken care of a lot sooner than this. this is I like, call this, this is a special meeting so we can discuss it and we can get what information I need to write that document. I'm just not going to write something up and say, oh, here's this and this, and be wrong. Call the state police. So you know how easy it is to call the police and have them write up an official document? No, the state police to handle it. They know what they're doing. They know the laws. Because you said you're not a lawyer, you don't know the laws. They do. That's why they can help. I work with them all the time. They're not going to haul anyone to jail unless somebody's guilty. But the yeah, residents would feel better knowing that somebody actually investigated it. If nothing Not happened, then we're people. good. Yeah, then obviously it's the third party telling us, hey, there's nothing wrong here. Right. Now yeah. you've made us all well, concerned that there's something going better. on that you're trying to hide. Prepare the document, and it'll be at the review board, and you can read it for yourself. If you think at that point that we're hiding something or we're not doing it right, you have the option to call the state police. I will. Call I will contact, that's, that's, I will that's, that's point up the documents, you, you can and I'll contact them right, myself. You could leave right now and call the state police say, hey, we're sweeping stuff under the rug. No, I that's, need the documents. Right. We need the FOIA documents yeah, not, if you're not going to show them to us. I guarantee you we're not sweeping under the rug. You will have the full story. When I Why contacted the county clerk, they suggested, they can't tell you what to do, but they said that under advisement, the first step would be to contact the state police and then have a special meeting within 18 hours of when this board, these board members were notified. Did anybody else on the board call and ask for advice from 
Michigan Township Association or the General Attorney's Office, the state, or not, uh, the state I did, attorneys? I did look at the MTA and I was looking for something. There's nothing. Did they you have call nothing. and talk to somebody? They had nothing on it. Right. I couldn't find anything. The reason I ask is this, this has been brought up before. <coughs> not to, uh, this has been brought up before. Tom, Sherry, Mary Agnes, Sue, me, were on the board. And back in 2018, I sent you an, all, an email about a possible signature on documents, but I didn't have the support of the employees. So nothing was proved. I could only go by, you know, starting out as a treasurer. I really didn't know everything that was going on. But there's a pattern here. <laughs> and you're not going to convince me otherwise. I mean, well, right now, I you should be very diligent in contacting outside authorities right now. Yeah. The board should. Uh, you're going to uh, all be covering is, something if it's actual fraud. You're, you're, you're endangering the other board members and the employees. It, who made the complaint? If it was the employees, now you're creating a situation that's pretty crappy for them. Well, that was that was why I came down. That's what they were. That's what they first were worried about, and that's why I said, well, I'll come in. I'll that. look. I'll start looking into this." But I was not going to make a snap judgment on any of this stuff. You shouldn't. The police should. Yeah. yeah. Then we'd all feel better as a community, as a township, that this well, was looked into and addressed. Was next, 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 next. No one's going to have a separate meeting for me if I do something wrong. The police will come and talk to me. Why is this an exception? No. It should be just we, the opposite. I personally did not think we needed to do it until I knew what the whole story was. You that should was not have to investigate. The police should. Well, I decided not to. But you're not the whole board. Well, no. that's why we had the discussion meeting. We were, we were trying to discuss this, get the whole story, and like I said, prepare that document. But you didn't get the whole story. Well, we have now. And I, I can write the document up. I'll have it on the 7th. We're gonna we're gonna make sure it's it's worded properly and if I didn't get something wrong and then you will see it at a regular board meeting. So if you decide not to move forward, then no one's going to investigate. No, I, actually, I've already got a resolution. I don't care I about the resolution. What the I'm board board. asking well, you have a resolution. You didn't have a full story until today, all of a sudden. We're not gonna. This resolution would prevent this from ever happening again. <laughs> but it's already happened. happened. We need to deal well, with it now. That's true. But we had we had nothing. Not, nothing controlled. Because that you're before. not legal. The you're police not a legal person. Then why would you write your resolution and not the attorney? I, I I'm just know. asking. I mean, it's common sense. We don't have, just, a, you know, don't have a nice staff attorney here. Uh, here. I just want to know at the next board meeting that you're having on this, are you going to vote to dis, to decide as a board whether this is fraud or not? That, well, that's the question, right? That will answer and whether you're moving forward with the state police or not, correct? Yeah. Okay, so we know as residents after September 7th yeah. what we need to do, unfortunately, if that happens. Yeah, at the, at the that it's going to fall on us to have to do it. At the board meeting, you'll have the whole story, you'll have our position on it, mm -hmm. and then, like, if you want to call the, call the lawyer in, call, that'll be your, your option. But well, we, they, had, we were told that we had to wait to see what you decided today. Well, we did, we did, because we were, we were going to do that, but we got more of the story now, and we're not really ready right now. So, that's what so I'm you're going to delay it another month? Not another month. Well, well two month. weeks. Yeah, two months. weeks. Two weeks. Because I want to get that in writing. I want it in writing. I don't want verbal stuff that I heard this, she said this. Did you get the, the writing from the employees? Did you get anything from the employees we got in writing? One. We, I had the, no the original email, and the original letter from the employees. I got All the that. employees? Can you tell us who made uh, the accusations or suspicious circumstance? Who signed the email or who was in? Can you tell us anything? Who's all involved? Let's see. This is someone. <coughs> well, I don't have a signed copy, but it was it was apparently Kathy Harris, Michelle Ett, Nicole Hart, Barb Shute, Sherry Quinn put together a a letter that uh, addressing the concern that was their concern because they were they were concerned that Holly would reflect on them. Of so course, they, <laughs> they they put it in writing and they sent it to yeah. me and they sent a copy to Tom as trustees 
And uh, that is part of our job. We're supposed to be looking into this. Was the other word, Beth, did you get a copy of that? I got a copy of it. I was not here that day. It didn't happen, so I don't okay. know. It. Did you get documentation along with that <coughs> email, or were you just going on the email? No, there was, there was just, it wasn't really an email. It was a letter that they typed up, and I guess they got their own copies. So nobody Tom, got any documentation? Tom, Tom and I got it via mail and I, like I said I, I was out of town for like three weeks okay. so I didn't get a chance I didn't get the email, I didn't get the letter until late Monday night Tuesday was election day Wednesday was the first day okay. I had a chance to come in here and start looking at this did you receive any documentation with the emails what I'm asking well, there was did. yeah there okay. was a um, yeah, well, that was, yeah, there was a copy of, of the receipt. What was the receipt for? Uh, I guess. Cool it was a water service application. And who was the recipient of the receipt? Excuse me? Who received the receipt? Uh, it's, it was received by Mary Agnes. No. Who was the payor, supposedly? Oh, it was Robert Young. Okay. Is that uh, Robert just, Young on Shea Road? It's near the corner of Shea and uh, Starwood. So that's son. Bill's son-in-law, the building? I believe that's, that's his son-in-law. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So anyway. that so that was the building department's son-in-law, and a receipt was placed in his, what was the receipt for? A water tap? It was, it was for, I guess, water hookup? Hookup? Water, 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 water meter, water. And water what meter, was the water. amount of the receipt for? The amount, dollar amount. Six fifty. Why would it be for six fifty when it happens twenty five hundred? That's that's what we discussed. Why? Okay. You know, and we have we have the answer to that. But what would I, be the I want to get it all in sure. writing. I don't want anything to be hidden. I don't want things to get out of. What if the receipt had been for twenty five hundred? Would anybody have noticed that? Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Why would a receipt be in there for six fifty when it happens? But those are some questions that I would be like, somebody obviously noticed it. This is and where caught, the caught. state police mm -hmm. does the investigation. It, it would, You're not qualified to do the investigation. It, it wouldn't have gone anywhere, you know, no matter what the cost was, because there was no original receipt from what I understand. But there are and signatures there on was, that. Was, there was signatures on it, but it was just a copy of receipt to be used uh, for a specific purpose. <laughs> And there was no real actual money. Uh, well, it was a contractor to do the job without that being paid. Right. What? Right. Again, yeah. he, he fraud. Was, again, State fraud. fraud. Basically, he was he was fraud. 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 But there was no monetary gain, so. You keep saying monetary. Oh, monetary is That has nothing to do with the money. That is the definition of fraud. If I'm getting free services that are valued at $2,500 and didn't pay for it, there's a monetary gain. No, no. I see Let the state police decide. There was, that was going to be, last meeting, there was going to be, before the agenda changed, that was going to be brought up for discussion at that meeting. But to discuss a lower amount, but either way. No. Bill, Bill came in and he paid the full price. After they got caught. Mm -hmm. After they got caught. Well, well after Young came in and paid the full price. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. You know what? I'll wait to the next meeting. I, I, I can't wait to the next meeting. I think you're doing everything was, backwards. They are. Before the meeting, he was going to pay full price. He was working to give a waiver of any kind. Was this lot of work by an auditor of any sort? No. No, it was other employees who didn't want to be held accountable for fraud, so they put the notice out that this was happening. So anyway, Bill came in, he paid the full price, and that was taken off of the last, uh, last board meeting. It was not discussed because he had paid for it. But there was an intent. It's like robbing a bank and then returning the money. Yeah. I didn't do it. After you get caught, you give it back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, seriously, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Don't vote me back in. I think they all should resign. Yeah. If any one of us pulled their shit, it would be a whole different story. There would not be a meeting, a top of the meeting, a top of delays. No. You guys know that. You guys start to get shit. I'll make a motion for you. All right, I'll take it.